Oh, what's the worst that could happen? Look, for those working with nuclear materials like physicist Harry Daglian, it's a question they probably should ask more often. So preparations were in place to drop a third nuclear bomb on Japan during World War II, but they surrendered before the bomb was dropped. Oh, with the bomb no longer needed, Daglian decided to use its core for some reckless experiments on criticality, because of course he did. On August the 21st, 1945, he began building a wall of tungsten bricks around the core, but then he accidentally dropped one. When the brick landed, the core was completely encased in tungsten, causing it to go crazy. Critical. Though Daglian removed the brick as quickly as possible, he had already received a lethal dose of radiation and he died just 25 days later of radiation poisoning. Nearly a year later, physicist Louis Slotin performed similar experiments, this time with two half spheres of beryllium separated only by a flathead screwdriver. During one experiment, his hand holding the screwdriver slipped, which caused the sphere to seal and again a critical reaction. He died nine days later. After that, the demon core was melted down to avoid future mishaps. Probably a good idea.